everybody, welcome back to the Clintonville Slasher. Bear with me for a second, I'm getting off work and I feel like crap. It's been going around, <clears throat> it sucks. So, uh, today we're gonna be talking about a film that I just saw for the first time. Let me buckle up here. Buckle up for safety. Uh, anyway, it's a film that I saw for the very first time and that is last year's film that came out, uh, Violent Night, starring David Harper and John Languizamo. A uh, little rundown of the film is that, and then it also has uh, Mrs. The, the the lady that played Mrs. Griswold in the Family Vacation movies. Now, I will not be able to pronounce her name or remember how to say it, so Mrs. Griswold it is. So, a little rundown of the film is that Mrs. Griswold is like a super millionaire. She's got a fucking shitload of money. And, um... John Linguizamo is, uh, he is a robber. Hold on one second. I had a cigarette. No, I don't know where I did. What the heck? That's right. I'll finish when I go. Anyway, John Linguizamo plays a, uh, a robber and he's, uh, dressed up like this catering company. Well, along with all of the other guys that are robbers and he decided to, steal all this money well david harper plays santa claus like the actual real life santa claus well santa claus is like tired of fucking uh milk and cookies so he starts drinking bourbon and he shows up at this house and where like the super rich people live and the, there's a little girl there that is the granddaughter of mrs griswold anyway so uh david harper's character well santa claus he goes up there he starts drinking fucking bourbon and milk and eat cookies and falls asleep in this like vibrating chair. Well, he wakes up to the sound of gunfire and he like decides I'm not gonna get involved. He's like, I gotta get out of here. So he tries to leave. Well, he can't leave because the reindeer take off. So now he has to figure out this way to like save this family. And I, I really like the fact that they really dove, deep dove into the background of Santa Claus. And they really captured the idea of Santa Claus being like this Viking king I wish they, and that's how old, that's why he's so old. Now, I really wish that they would elaborate it on a little more, uh, but I did read up on a little bit about this folklore, and it is part of the folklore of Santa Claus being uh, like a Viking king, and he was either cursed or blessed, however way you want to look at it, but one of the gods came to him and basically said, you know, you've lived a life of misery causing fear, so now you're going to live eternally and spread joy to children. So that's how it became Father Christmas. I, I don't know too much about the folklore. I'm not really 100% sure on it. Um, I just read a couple of things, so don't quote me on it. But I really like this. Now, the kill scenes were absolutely fucking brutal and so much fun to watch. I really had a good time with this film, and it's streaming on Amazon Prime right now. So st I strongly urge you guys to check it out. Now, a little, uh, um, little bit of news is that a week from today... Josh Benson and I are going to have a show on the Dead of Night broadcast along with Ken and Ashley from Sledgehammer Horror, my wife Julie, and Anthony Noble from Noble Arts and Apparel. Now, we will be doing a deep dive into 1974's classic, uh, Black Christmas. Now, I've actually never seen this movie, and I'm really excited to check it out. So, um, we're going to deep dive into that. We're going to be talking about The Night Howler, Josh Benson's film, The Crimson Nightfall, maybe playing a couple of games. So check us out on the Dead of Night broadcast. If you're new to this channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, yeah, stay horror. Have an awesome weekend. We'll see you next time. Later days. I'm going to have to find my cigarette because I dropped it somewhere.